Hello everybody, today we're looking at a 2005 Acura MDX. This one is the Touring model with the Bose sound system and tow package. We'll take a look at the exterior and we'll go into the interior. This truck also has seating for seven. As well as a roof rack. Dual chrome exhaust. and very sharp black on black. And nice chrome accents. Next we'll take a look at the interior starting from the driver's seat. Leather wrap driver's door. Power windows, power mirrors, heated mirrors, auto up and down, driver's side window, power locks and memory seating, chrome Acura accents, locking gas cap, all seats are leather, and power driver's side seat. And then here is the view from the driver's seat. Starting with the steering wheel. Here are your cruise control settings. On your left side you have radio controls. In the back, Bluetooth for calling only. You have your stock here, which also has automatic headlights. Wiper controls as well as automatic wipers. On the left side, cruise control, stability control, and your fog light buttons are here. And on your right side is your locking rear differential. We'll go ahead and start her up. Digital odometer. You're also able to use the select buttons and reset buttons to go through here. Next we'll take a look at the center console, hideaway cup holders, as well as driver and passenger heated seats, shifter column, I have an FM transmitter put in right now to the hideaway 12 volt outlet, as well as storage. Here's the radio, 6 CD changer. It's also the Bose radio, which comes with a factory subwoofer. This model does not have navigation, instead gives you this compass, clock, range, and fuel economy, as well as outside temperature. You can adjust the brightness and turn it off. Easier to see at night. Passenger airbag indicator, as well as your hazard switch. And then automatic climate controls. Also includes rear defrost and then rear climate controls as well. Auto dimming rearview mirror. Then going up here, 
You have your reading lights, as well as garage door code, interior lights, sunroof, you can open the sunroof, press the button down for vent, and of course hold it down to go all the way back or all the way forward. You have your driver's side visor, open up, automatic lights, as well as an extension. Same thing for the passenger side. Passenger door includes power locks, as well as the power mirror. Floor mats. And your glove box. Ample storage space, as well as the owner's manual. And then moving back to the center console. You also have storage here, which opens up to more cup holders for the back passengers and a little cubby. We close that. You also have more storage underneath it, as well as another 12 volt outlet. Looking at the passenger door, we also have some cubby storage. Driver's side has this as well. Chrome Acura accents, and then power passenger seat. We'll take a look at the inside from the passengers. Looking at the rear passenger door, your power window, as well as some more storage space and a cup holder. Acura Chrome Accents, another weatherproof floor mat, rear HVAC controls, let's see if we can get the sunlight out of here. Also have some storage behind the driver and passenger seat. In the third row, in the second row in the middle, we have cup holders that fold down. And then 60-40 split bench. Which also you can adjust, the passengers can adjust how far they'd like to sit back and forth. You can sit on an incline if they like. And you can fold the seats all the way down. And third row seating. Kind of meant for uh, people who may not be as tall or children. They also have cup holders back here and a little bit of storage. And then you've got the same on the other side. Moving on to the driver's side in the rear. We'll take a look at this folding bench. Again, you can adjust what incline you'd like to sit at, as well as fold all the way down. Now we'll take a look at the hatch. It's got a rear wiper. Third row seats also fold down. Pulling the latch here. Same for the other side. Plenty of storage space back here. On the right is the factory subwoofer. And then underneath here is some storage. You can find the headrest for the third row seat in here as well as trailer wiring if you decide to tow. In this storage compartment, you have the jack, as well as a 12 volt power outlet. All right, lastly, 
We're gonna look underneath the hood. Hood latches down here on the left side. No prop rod required, held up by shocks. Three point five liter V six with VTEC. You can see it's in fairly good condition. And here she is.